Hello people, this is the Lego Former Guy, coming to you with my Lego Generation 1 Blaster. Blaster here is the counterpart of Generation 1 Soundwave, and right now he is in his alt mode, a boombox. A somewhat undersized boombox as compared to Soundwave here, who is a tape deck. As a, again, he is a boombox, so and tape decks is obviously like this small compared to a boombox, so yeah. But that's what they looked like in the cartoon, so I'm not really gonna complain. So right now, let's just focus on Blaster. Oh, he does have his handle, a boombox handle, which does work. So I'll give you just you just a full 360 here, uh, another plane back here, but it does have some yellow here. Uh. Mm, don't really remember if G the cartoon blaster had yellow on his back or any other part of his body other than this. But really, this is the boring part, so let's get to the transformation. Blaster's transformation starts by splitting his handle in two, followed by folding his sides to form his legs. Those aforementioned handle halves then fold back against his leg, and his feet simply fold forward. This completes the lower half of his transformation. His upper body starts by folding out the arms and hinging the elbows round from the back. Capped with an identical head reveal to sound waves, Blaster is now ready to get grooving. And here we have Blaster in his robot mode. He does kind of look bulky in this mode, doesn't he? That's because this middle torso bit here is basically the same as this middle torso bit. Also in this shot, you can also see that they are, they size up very nicely, and the scale is very nice. Uh, also, just to give you another size comparison, here he is next, here they are, actually, next to Optimus. Yeah, Optimus is a little, quite a bit taller, and I believe that is quite accurate, at least to the, according to the G1 scale chart. So let's just get these guys out of the way and focus on his articulation. His head is on my standard joint as explained on my sound wave video. Up, down, left, right. And then his shoulders can go back and forth like this. They rotate around all the way. A somewhat limited bicep swivel because of this 1x4 piece thingy. He has nice ratcheting elbows over there. He's got no wrists. Just like Soundwave. Then he also has a nice ratcheting hip. They go in and out and they have a swivel. Very nice and tight. And he has stud friction knees. And then his feet, they also they tilt, also on stud friction, and they also swivel up and down. So for posability he is very he is actually very nice. Very good at it. Very good at posability. Uh, I am over explaining myself. Yeah, so you can also you can see that his posability is very nice and he is very stable actually. Uh, if you can get him to stabilize as you can see. Now for special features. Well, that with his central torso piece being the same as sound waves, he's got an opening tape door, which kind of works better. He's got tapes, he's got two tapes here, and he's got actually three tapes. It's just because that this one doesn't fit in there. If only he could fit three tapes, but then he'll be super fat. Yeah, um, just put him in the back and focus on these tapes. This guy is rewind, I believe, and He's got the same transformation as Frenzy slash Rumble. Just go like that. The Frenzy slash Rumble's transformation you can see in the Soundwave video. Please watch my video. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then, yeah, blah. Same goes for Eject. And this guy, this guy is Ram Horn. He's kind, he's kind of crappy. Yeah, he fold out his tail and then his 
head is kind of weird. See, it's just we. Yeah, okay. So, here you go, people. That, I believe that pretty much concludes my video. I'll just give you a nice, cool pose. Just, please hold on a second. Here you go, guys. Nice, cool pose to end this video. So, please be sure to rate and comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe by pressing, uh, I'm not actually quite sure what the button is. Just find the subscribe button. If you want to subscribe, that is. Feel free to subscribe. So, yeah, that pretty much ends my video. So, this is Lego Former Guy signing off, and thanks for watching.